All right. Hey, folks. Jumping right in here. We are potting up, repotting this privet. Um, I was potting up my big old lace bark elm, and I found out I didn't have enough bonsai soil. So this one kind of had to make the ultimate sacrifice of its regular container. Of course, this isn't big enough of a container. That's all right. Switch to a bigger one. Yeah, so I dumped this one out, used the, uh, use the soil from that to get me set up with, oh, geez, none of these are big enough, honestly, to get me set up with a, um, a little bit extra soil. Not big enough. It's kind of a nice privet. I hope it survives. This is not expected, so it may not. I thought I had bigger containers, but I guess not. The only thing I can do is put it in my pumpkin bowl, which I really hadn't wanted to use for this purpose. Um, so this is my pumpkin bowl. It's probably the only one it'll fit in. Yeah. It's kind of a tough one to repot of, repot out of, but, you know, whatever. We'll do what we can, right? I also don't want to drill it anymore because it's a silly, difficult bowl to, uh, to do anything with. So, base layer of soil. Tuck it in. Am I fresh? Just record, right? Oh, yeah, good. So I took a lot of roots off of this. I had this basically buried before. And I am keeping this weird fork at the top. The reason why is, uh, well, you know, I need to make sure. Yeah, good enough, right? Good enough. Um, the reason why is because I kind of want to do this as a sort of, so they, I don't remember what the name for them is, but Native Americans used to shape trees. Not bonsai. They used to shape trees to uh, like give signals as to where water was and you know a safe passage, things like that, village up ahead. And they do it by pulling the tree down and weighing it down with another tree. You can't see very well. Weighing it down with another tree, then you know the, the actual branches would grow up. So a V would signify something and things like that. But I actually kind of want to keep that. I know it's not traditional and it's got a huge amount of inverse taper, but I really like this tree. So... I'm going to attempt to continue to develop it with bonsai methods, even though it's not advisable. I'm 100% sure it's still advised to develop this particular tree, but I just think it's so cool. It's almost like a weird privet ghost. I think it's a privet. It's Yamadori, you know, trail development, all that stuff. That's not supposed to be in there. Uh, so yeah we'll see what happens i had another privet in here before the birds took it um they love stealing my trees from me to make their nests on my own balcony nonetheless they don't even hide it they just <laughs> do it right in front of me so that's where that's at hold on one moment i'm hearing some noises i don't like my neighbors might need some uh oh no never mind they're yelling at their kids crossing the street. I don't like hearing people talk to each other like that. There's an altercation out there. I have to jump the balcony. It's not good for me. It's really bad for my knees and all kinds of stuff. It's, uh, yeah. It's the third level, but it's more like a fourth story balcony because all of our ceilings are full 12 to 14 feet, depending on the level you're on. Mine are only 12. Bottom layer, I think, is 14 or 21 feet. It's a big fancy building for no reason, you know. But right now I'm just trying to fill in big gaps. Get this thing that, you know, I can start to fill in the roots, but mostly seeded. I didn't intend to make it this way. Uh, you know, as a sort of, I don't know if I call it literati, but weird interpretive i don't know that's my style of bonsai i guess it's got that weird curve in it it's got a, it's like it breaks so many rules i'm sure <laughs> but i like it right why not i don't even know if i introduced this one correctly before can't tell if it's my music or somebody outside yelling i think it's my music this time such weird music. I didn't choose this music. It's just been playing for the last like 48 hours on my Echo. And it said one song, it got it wrong, and now this is where I'm at. 
I haven't changed it. All right. So I wouldn't call that perfect by any means. But it is at least mostly potted up. I won't be upset to lose a couple high up roots. Ooh. I think it needs a little more. Yeah. blocking the way here. All right. One thing I'm concerned with this one is uh, running out of moisture. So I'm going to do my little top dressing um, just a little bit. And this is fuller earth. Mike uses a top dressing because it holds that moisture real nice. And if moss wants to grow, it will right on top of here. And stick to it nice, I think. So there's my fullet earth top dressing. That's my quick. Ugh. And when I say emergency repot, I mean I just dump this thing into a bin and uh, an empty bin, of course, and went from there. So I think it will be okay. It's not what I expected to do with it today, but it looks all right. So I'm gonna give it a water and uh, my weird. I don't even know what to call this thing. You know, it's so strange looking, but I love it. My uh, weird privet. Bonsai, hopefully, will survive. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.